Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making a stand-up card. This one stands up. It's like a little tent box. And then it has the little tear in the center with the fold-up places on here. We're going to be using some stamps, punches. Then we're going to make a template and make an envelope that fits this card specifically. This is a 5x6 card, so it's a little bit different, but I'm going to show you how to cut your paper, make your template, and make your envelope to match. Okay? All right, let's get into the project. So you're going to need a piece of cardstock. This is 6 inches by 12. You're going to score at 1 half, at 2, and at 7. And that's all the scoring that you're going to do right there. One half, two, and seven. And then you're just going to fold and burnish your score lines. And then on this piece right here that folds up, this little half inch piece, we're going to put some score tape on that. If I can find my score tape. I'm going to use quarter inch. You could just put glue on it if you wanted to. Well, I'm out of score tape on that, so let's see. Let's use some of this that came in one of our kits. That'll work. There we go. And then we're just going to leave that like it is for a moment. Flip your card over, and you're going to need a couple of mats. Let's see, what did I do with my white mat? There we go. All right, this mat is cut at five and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and that's going to go right there. And then this one is cut at five and three quarters by four and three quarter. But what we're going to do on this one is you're going to take the bottom part, and this is the bottom down here on mine. And you're just going to mark your center. Let's see if we can find it. Right about there, looks like. So I am going to mark the center. And then I'm just going to mark up about, let's see about an inch and three quarters looks like something like that so let's just mark that spot and then I'm just going to take my scissors now you could do this with your trimmer I can barely see my mark you can do this with your trimmer if you want I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to go straight up to that mark that I put up there to stop at Let's see, I think that's going to be big enough. Then what I'm going to do, just to keep this from tearing when I start to fold it, is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to put it right there where I folded that. See if I can get it down here where you can see it. Right there where I stopped cutting at. And then I'm going to go down to this point, to this corner. And right, I'm going to hold it really tight and I'm going to fold that up. That just keeps the paper from tearing up here at the top when you try to force that. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just fold it right up against that ruler. I'm having a hard time talking today. Can y'all tell I'm out of practice? Oh my gosh. I am out of practice. Okay, then you just want to fold those up. Just like that. So you've got that folded up like that. Now we're going to glue this down on top of this. And I'm just going to use some art glitter glue. This is an old paper collection. Well, I won't say it's too old. Um, Flutter collection. It's last year's from Graphic 45. I absolutely love the colors in this one. All right, lay this down on there. It's going to be just a little bit of that white peeking out. 
just a tiny bit. Just like that. Then we're going to stamp something right here. Okay, I'm going to stamp this one. And this is from... Oh, I use this one a lot. And if I can find it, I'll link it below. It doesn't have a name on here. And I've already got rid of the packaging a long time ago. But if I can find it, I'm going to link it below for you. And this just says, not older, just better. And we're going to stamp that right in there. But I'm going to stamp off first just because this stamp has not been used before and I want to make sure that it's inking up well you see that I get ink on me every time I stamp let me know in the comments below if you get ink all over you too and you see I got a little bit of ink right there and I just used my mono eraser and it cuts that ink right up because I am terrible about getting my fingers in the ink pad I don't know why I do it but I do it every time all right let's see if I can get this somewhat near straight that doesn't look like it's inked well there we go That's cute. All right. Lay that aside. And then this is going to glue down right there. So we'll put our art glitter glue on here. And you'll just have a tiny bit of that red peeking out. That's what we want. There we go. And then I have punched a scallop circle and a round one. This is a two and a half inch, and it's an EK, and I'll link it below if I can find it. And then this is a two inch, and it is an EK. And I have punched those, and I think I'm going to put this up on Pop Dots. Pop Dots. So just center it up in those scallops like that and then that's going to sit right there but I do I punched out a butterfly and this is an old butterfly punch from paper shapers I don't think they they're even in business anymore if I can find a butterfly punch that's similar to this I'll link it below but I love this one I've had it forever probably 20 years and it's still going. So first off, I'm going to put this in the center of this. And then I just have some little pieces of bling here. And we're going to run those right down the center of the butterfly. There we go. Pop his little wings up a little bit. And then I want to glue that. Right there, just like that. I'm not going to put this up on Pop Dots because I want it to hold those little pieces down right here. So I just want to lay the edge of it there. Just at the top of my stamped spot there. See, that holds your little flaps down. And then we have some more little tiny butterflies that I punched from the Martha Stewart punch that was sent to me by Loretta love this love this love this and they don't make it anymore i gave mine away at one of the um made it cons that i was teaching at and a lady just had a fit over it she was a sweet sweet lady and she was actually i want to tell you all the story 
she was actually a Dolly Parton um, look-alike. And she was making some things up for one of Dolly's events that she was having. And that's why she come to our classes. So she just had a fit over that punch. She had never seen one like it before. And Dolly Parton is a big fan of butterflies, like I am. But, um, so she had a fit over the punch, and I knew that you couldn't buy it anywhere, so I gave it to her, thinking that I could probably find me another somewhere, but guess what? They had stopped making them, couldn't find another one, and so I put out, if anybody had one that they wanted to sell, let me know, and Loretta had one. She said she very seldom used it. Her husband dug it out for, I think it was her husband, and sent it to me, and I have used it and used it and used it a lot. I love it. Okay, we're going to put some bling right in the center of those little butterflies. And I'm just, this is just some old bling that I've had in my stash. Let me cut that tip off of that one. This was in the hoard vault. And then I like to puff my butterflies up a little bit. So let's go ahead and put one in the center of that. One in the center of that one. Okay. Now all you need to do is take the backing off of this. And then we're going to let that go to the inside so that you can't tell that this card has been put together. All right, so that is your stand-up card. You can fold it down and put it in an envelope. This ended up being a 5x6 card. Now, to make your matching envelope for this card, since it's a 5x6, you're going to make your template that is 5 and 1 half by 6 and 1 half. And I just use old um, cereal boxes, whatever, to make my templates with. Then you're going to lay your template down. And a lot of times I will mark the center of my template so that I can point it straight to that uh, corner there, but I'm going to try to do it this time without, just to see if I can get it done a little bit quicker. So just kind of lay it like that, and I start with the sides. I fold those up, fold them around your template. And you can kind of see, see my sides are not coming exactly straight, so I'm going to change my angle of my chipboard just a little bit. So then I can get those points a little bit straighter. There we go, they're close. And then we're going to fold up the bottom. Fold it right up to the chipboard, just as close as you can get it. Right. And then fold over the top. Okay. Then I go ahead and I take my template out. Now, I save that template because I can use that over and over again. Next time I make a card this size, use that same template. And I just reinforce all my score lines. And at this point, this is where you can kind of even it out. If you see you got it a little bit crooked or something like that, you can always even it out right here. There we go. Okay, now what I do is I go back to the corners, just like I showed in my video the other day. I go back to the corners and I cut those corners off just like that. 
I just kind of do them at a little round part. Let's just kind of round it out like that. Hopefully you can see that. And that just makes it fold over better. It makes it look better when it's finished. Very, very easy. Oh, and I don't know if I told you the size of this paper. This paper is nine by nine. Remember, when you're making an envelope, you take the largest size of your card, which is six inches, and add three inches onto that if it's an odd size card, which this is, it's a five by six. So you add three inches onto it, and you have got your paper for your envelope. I'll cut this off a little bit more right here. Okay, that's got a little imperfection spot right there, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Now, I don't really like this point sticking up there, so all I'm going to do is just go straight across with that point and cut that off. And then it will fold up just like that. So all that we need to do now is put some glue on here. So the paper is a nine by nine. The template is five and a half by six and a half. Okay. And there is my card and my matching envelope. Now, since this paper has got some little bees on there, I think I will stamp a bee right down here in the corner. And this is from that stamp set that we got in our first kit, I believe. No, second kit, I believe it is. The second E-Club kit. And this is a May May stamp set. And it is called, let me see, Bee Sweet. And that is the May May stamp set that she made for our February, no, March kits, I do believe. I think it was our March kits. So we're gonna stamp a little bee right there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then, I'm gonna stamp a little bee right here. There we go. Now we have our card made. We've got our envelope made. That's all there is to it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry about me stammering around a little bit. I've got to get back in practice of all of this since I was out for a couple of weeks. But I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for all you new subscribers. Stick with us and we've got lots more new things coming in the next couple of months. Oh, it won't be long until we'll start on Christmas. Who is excited? I'm excited to start on Christmas projects, but not excited to start shopping. Let me know in the comments below what holiday is your favorite holiday. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.